creates a political food fight. Opponents of same-sex marriage flock to a popular chicken chain, putting their lunch money where their faith is. I really think it's important to be here to support our belief of, of uh, marriage that we've always known of as being between a man and a woman. But supporters of gay marriage are fighting back. Some are boycotting. I don't agree with you. I won't be, uh, you know, eating there anymore. Others are baking. Rainbow Pride Cupcake, anyone? Tastes like equality. <laughs> Your local news starts right now. Well, Chick-fil-A drew big crowds to its stores here in New Jersey and across the country today, and not necessarily for its chicken sandwiches or waffle-cut fries. We thank you for staying with us. I'm Roxanne Evans. And I'm Brian Jenkins. Many of the customers were there to show their support for the company's president and his unapologetic opposition to gay marriage. News 12 New Jersey's John Kleekamp is here to fill us in on what was billed as Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day, John. Well, this was spearheaded by Mike Huckabee and Rick Santorum, the former conservative GOP presidential candidates, encouraged people to vote with their wallets, and that's exactly what tens of thousands of people did today. Lines of customers and cars wrapped around Chick-fil-A stores today. Managers reported record sales, but the food was almost an afterthought. The main item on the menu, sending a message of support to the company's president, Dan Cathy, who took a public stand against gay marriage. I really think it's important to be here to support our belief of, of uh, marriage that we've always known of as being between a man and a woman. There were also protesters at several locations, supporters of gay marriage calling for a Chick-fil-A boycott and a same-sex kiss-in. But at Sweet Avenue Bake Shop in Rutherford, they were mixing up a tastier and much more colorful response. Rainbow Pride Cupcakes. At the moment, it's by far our most popular cupcake. More popular even than Red Velvet. Nancy Delamonico and Karen Williams bought a couple of them, happy to send the Chick-fil-A president an alternative message. Then I don't agree with you. I won't be, uh, you know, eating there anymore. Co-owner Jake Vance says $1 from each $4 Rainbow Pride cupcake he and his wife sell will go to Garden State Equality, which is fighting to make same-sex marriage legal here in New Jersey. But he says it's nothing compared to the millions Chick-fil-A donates to groups opposed to gay marriage. As a company, they're putting a lot of money into removing the civil rights of a big portion of the population. Garden State's John Galuccio stopped in to say thank you and have a bite. Tastes like equality. <laughs> Galuccio says he recognizes that the president of Chick-fil-A enjoys freedom of speech, but he says there's also freedom of consequences and people who don't agree with Kathy are free to eat elsewhere. And Brian Roxanne, he said the rainbow pride cupcake tastes like equality, mm -hmm. but the baker says they taste like vanilla, so you guys can <laughs> take a break and tell me later what you actually think it tastes like. Well, definitely. Taste. You said they had record-breaking uh, sales, sales as well here. In fact, they're going to sell them for an entire month. They've been doing so well that they decided to go from a, a week's promotion to sell these for a month, at least. Well, they are beautiful, and this is all about freedom of speech. Yeah. All right. Thank you, John. Okay. John Kleekamp reporting. And also, folks, so we asked our Facebook friends if they'll be paying any visits to Chick-fil-A. Christina says, nope, making my own delicious chicken. Jim says, free speech, eat some chicken and call it a day. And Patrick says, I won't go there today or any other day.